Hello friends, welcome to Scott UJ. So one of my friends asked me this question. There's a question which uh, they asked me here. So the one of these friends asked me how to change your server IP to hostname and slashed it with a domain. So this is what we're going to look at today. And um, thanks for passing by to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe by because uh, that's the only way you can support me as well. If you have other ways like donating or anything, as well you can do it so let's do it so one of uh, the ways you can do it there are many ways but i'm going to show you with my providers one of the providers i use with uh, servers and so on so let's do this all you need to do is to own a domain name that is uh, that's why i posted a video how to get a free domain a free domain name secondly what you need to do is to own uh, a vps account or any pro domain provider so depending on who the provider you use if there are many ways of pointing a domain name or pointing your ip address to your domain name or whatever the reverse could be but as long as you're getting what i'm meaning all you need to do here all you need to do is to go to uh, the provider that is a vps provider okay let's go back and uh, while i was trying to go through this stuff i made a lot of something so what you need to do is to go to your vps provider and then you sign in after signing in you choose a droplet yo you create a droplet so with DictorOcean, i made a video of how to create a droplet and how you can get free a hundred dollars so what you need to do is to come over here and select any, do any droplet which you have. So I'm going to select droplet number three. And then after that, you see the option where I say click, where I say add domain. So let me zoom in. We see where you see add domain. So I'm going to add domain. And after that, all you need to do is to come over here and choose where you see enter domain. So from there, what you're going to do is to get a domain name. In one of my videos, I showed you how to get a domain name for free. So here, what you're going to do, I'm just going to log into the account which you created that time. And I'm going to use one of the domain names which you created so that uh, we make things easier. So I've logged into my account here. And all you need to do is to come over here, see services and then select where I see my domains after selecting that you select any domain you want for the purpose of this video we are going to select uh, scotchug.tk I made these videos for a purpose of uh, using them these domains for the purpose of tutorials so i'll be making a lot lots of uh, tutorials about them okay okay so after that after selecting manage domain all you need to do is to come over here mm, management tools and then you select you see name servers okay after that all you need to do is to come over and copy this domain or you can just cram it it's scottug.tk and then you come back to where you were where they're asking you for the domain name okay so the domain name is scottug.tk so i'm taking you slow very slow so that you're able to get this from the root after that all you need to do is to click add domain so this is the easiest way to do it but there are other ways many there are other ways to do it or even the way can vary with your provider but there are other ways to do it so you can try this because uh, i find this the easiest way okay okay
now all you need to do is to click enter to put a uh, at sign there for the domain and then we are directing to which ip uh, you select the droplet which you which you're gonna be directing to so i'm just going to select a droplet here and i'm selecting which droplet um this one okay after that you select create record okay so you're done with creating that record now the next step you have to do is to go to scotchug.tk and change the name servers as they are given to you here now what you need to do is to choose ns ns stands for name servers name server so we are going to change the name servers to ns1.dictoocean.com ns2.dictoocean.com and ns3 so what we need to do here is to copy this okay you copy that and then you come back here because we selected name servers for ns1 you will do this okay delete and then paste so the rest are almost similar the rest are already similar the only difference is ns2 ns with blah blah but uh, all you need to do also to just focus to first look through if they are similar if they are similar then you just need to make a simple change here but uh, you find that your provider or the provider you may use can have uh, can vary so and you should match each and everything so i'm doing the same thing here okay but i'm only changing to ns3.com and then i delete this okay. Mm -hmm. then uh, you come back here because you also need to change this to 2 because it's supposed to be ns2 .com. so we are almost done we are almost done all you need to do here is to click change name servers after that you'll be done so in one of uh, in you will see in some some people will tell you that you need to wait um you need to wait around uh, two or like six hours to 24 hours or 12 hours but even if you wait for some few seconds or 10 seconds depending on sorry 10 minutes or five minutes depending on uh, and depending on the, if the all providers systems are uh, running smoothly so all you need to do here is to click refresh okay for the rest you leave there everything the way they are so I've made a simple way of doing it it's simpler that way I've not gone into details of uh, blah there are many stuffs which you can do uh, if I told you do you want to do this and this and those are the things I'll, I'll discuss in time to come so all you need to do is stay tuned with this channel if you have any, any question you can ask me so all you need to do is to get that domain that domain name which is called UG, and then you replace it the IP so let's do that let's try and test if this can work for us so what we need to do is to go to any apk or any ssh provider 
so i have lots of servers which i'm managing but uh let's try this so we pointed this so let's replace this ip with the domain name and we see if it will work for us got ug the ticket okay then we take it we have logged in to as root so boom we are in the server so this is what i was telling you so you can replace your ip with a domain name i hope you've seen it and uh, it is working so this server is running with uh, some script uh, i never wanted to enter more into this so it's running smoothly with a uh, each and everything so hope you've learned or oh, hope you've got all what i was meaning so let's exit this okay so this means if i want to create a user i'll create a user for instance uh, menu. and i create a user here for instance create user and then i put test 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 as the password and then i say like valid one day and then the limit like two uh, yeah yes so i got i get the ip uh -huh. i exit and then i exit to share this account or this IP so that means if you want to create something of this kind so that you can you be able to share to your friends that's how that thing that is the easiest way to do that and you can if your provider the provider you're using doesn't have the simplest moves I've made then you can ask the provider or you write to them or you can inbox me your provider then I'll be able to create for you something, something, something for you to use. So for that, I remain Scott UG. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share to all your friends. With that, we meet in another video. Jabless. bless.